everybody. We're Team Coon, and our game is called uh, Coon's Ball. Team members are uh, Aaron, Team Lead, Character Arts and Programming, Ashley, Asset Modeling and Programming, Christian, that's Programming, Brandon, that's Sound Design and Programming, Ray, Programming, and me, Colin, Sound, uh, sound and Level Design. So our game is, is 3D, but it is actually it is still a uh, side scroller. So think like Trump, like um, Trine or you know, like the modern uh, uh, Mario kind of games that are like 2D. Kind of games. Um, our game is set in a uh, post-apocalyptic kind of cartoony time setting kind of uh, art style. Um, it's, it's like set after like a nuclear war, and so. These um, you play as a sort of uh, a mutated animal that's uh, kind of uh, trying to escape from a uh, onslaught of uh, human survivors trying to uh, wipe the uh, animal race out. Um, so our our game is a little bit unique in that um, it's a side scroller, but it's actually based it's actually um, within a cylinder. So you kind of, it, it's it's like um, the, you're looking from the center of the cylinder onto the character, and the character kind of moves around, and just like storm drain type of thing, and it moves from side to side. It's kind of, we play around with that in our level design. So the enemies are also like post apocalyptic, there's like you know, various like mutant and uh, human enemies. Uh, one will have a range of What you can do with the character, you can flash the back of Hana. Sorry, you can flash the back of Hana. Yeah, you, you can um, have increased speed. You have increased speed when you have it. And use that as an advantageous thing to strike or just do a jump or a tear on. Like, use it to climb up the wall. And when you're dashing it into projectiles, you can reflect it. So the enemies aren't the only thing that you have to watch out while playing our game. We also have several obstacles that you're going to have to be competing with in order to survive. Uh, one of the main hazards that you're going to be facing is the rising acid pool that will slowly be building up as the level progresses. Um, you would also have uh, falling rocks and acid dripping from the ceiling that you have to uh, dodge and avoid. And of course, the main enemy, the raiders, that will be actively trying to eliminate the protagonist as he tries to make his ascension from the sewer drain. All right, so we, we have uh, three basic enemy types. You have the mutants, zombie-like shamblers, very, you know, slow, basic, low health enemies, but, you know, they'll still pack a punch if you're not good and at avoiding them. Then you have the raiders that they'll have a ranged attack, try to keep their distance, and that they'll require a little more tactics to try to uh, vanquish. Then the brute is going to be strong mutants that are trained by the raiders, and they'll be your heavy, uh, heavy enemy, big, early, charges the player, and Move on to our next slide. Um, and this is basically like a quick demo we made of our movements more than anything. It's like super player manual made basically like a cylindrical map. And the player, yeah, so the player basically rotates around this instead of it being like a linear movement. Um, it's like a really haphazard map we put together to showcase the jumpies. Any questions? 